What up, it's your boy King Down 225 coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, and become part of the kingdom. Man, I should make this own separate series like I do about police brutality and cameras and ratchets. You know, the wrongful convict, wrongfully convicted. Crazy man who was wrongfully convicted and sentenced to 400 years is freed after 34 years in jail. Y'all don't realize if I start doing this wrongful conviction, wrongfully convicted, these cases that get overturned, y'all gonna start seeing a pattern. That was a lot of black men. That's right. Go look at, do your research and look it up. The most, the highest percentage of overturned, wrongfully convicted cases are African American men. That's right. The highest rates of overturned wrongful convictions are African Americans, males. That's for all the sisters who say we ain't number trash and poogies and ray rays. It's black men that they setting free after decades of sitting in jail for crimes they didn't even commit. For all the people who ain't part of our community who think we all thugs and criminals and you know, gaslight us when they say when we say the justice system is is pitted against us and is racist. Yes, it's black men that's getting freed the most for wrongful convictions. Think about that. Like if I do this, I did one where dude got set free for sitting in jail for two plus decades, and they get one point three million dollars. I'm like, man, that's a travesty. That's a travesty. I missed all my youth. I, I could have been making, I could have been a billionaire. I could have did so much, so much potential that you took away from me when you put me in jail for two plus decades. You know how many families you can destroy wrongfully convicting people? The narrative that they, the narrative that American media puts out there, and this is justified. They criminals. They need to just comply. Damn, if you're poor. Damn, if you got drugs in the community, we're going to arrest the drug addicts, too. Man, I'm on the rant. Let's just get to the video. A man who, who served 34 years of a 400-year sentence. I could have swore that was against the Constitution. I could have swore. Like, good. That punishment... 400 years, you and I are gonna live 400 years. 34 years or 400 year sentence, remember, he innocent. Of an armed robbery was released from a Florida jail this week after prosecutors dismissed charges against the wrongfully convicted man. Dismissed charges. 34 years and you just dismissed charges. See how easy it is? That man went to jail when he was 23. 23. I never lost hope and I always knew this day would come. Sitting at home was now 57 said when he learned he would walk free. Man, let's get to this clip. Like I said, bro, this would be informative if I do this series of wrongfully overturned wrongful convictions. Then y'all see a pattern high. Damn, it's a lot of, it's a few white men, but it's a lot of goddamn black men. Yeah, yeah, open your eyes a little bit. But this shit is kind of sad and depressing that a person got to sit, spend multiple decades of their goddamn life in jail dealing with God knows what, with God knows who. And was innocent the whole time. with emotion as he is finally set free after being held in prison since 1989. Sidney Holmes' family greeted him the second he stepped foot out the door. Holmes says the first order of business is to go eat. CBS 4's Gabriel Arzola joins us live at the Broward County Jail where it all unfolded. Gabby? 
That's right. It was actually really emotional being here. I mean, imagine 34 years. Imagine what he and that family have gone through during that time. But like you said, the first thing he wants to do is go out to eat. And he also has a very special, very special message for those at home. After 34 years, Sidney Holmes is now a free man. His family overcome with emotion. Sisters, when y'all gonna realize the whole objective of the people y'all think y'all friends is to get y'all men out the way? To leave y'all really out here unprotected? See, this is shit that pissed me off about that gentleman. I'm about to rant a little bit. Like, black women had this deluded thinking that we some fucking kind of enemy because these letter Y, letter T ladies came over here and told us men ain't shit. Nah, nigga, your man ain't shit. Okay? But me and my man got a shared trauma and history and trust with one another. That y'all ended. Y'all know to keep us underfoot is to keep black men and black women divided. Like they want your men out the way. They want them gunned down in the street. They want them locked up. They want y'all thinking, I don't need a man. I'm I-N-D-E-P. I got my own money. <sighs> y'all gonna learn, though. Y'all gonna learn. As he takes his first steps out of the Broward County Jail. I can't put in for it. I was over elated. I was excited. And I just kept praising God and thanking the Innocent Project and everybody who made this possible. His mother, Mary, says she's ready to take her son home. Back in 1988, Holmes was convicted for being a driver of a robbery. But in court, the state attorney's office explained that Holmes not only had no ties to the robbers, but didn't have any fingerprints or physical evidence tied to the crime. The state says one flawed witness identification gave him a 400-year sentence. Here's a man who was sentenced to prison for 400 years, which is effectively a life sentence. And uh, today we were able to reverse that. He's getting out of prison today and uh, no longer is the wrong man uh, confined uh, to a Florida state prison. It has been a long, 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 long time. Long awaited day. The family tells us they never lost hope after all those years. The Innocence Project is thrilled he's getting out of prison, but they estimate up to 5,000 Florida prison inmates may also be wrongly convicted. We are reviewing hundreds of... What? Did they say up to 5,000? 5,000? Man, I'd be surprised to see how many of them dudes is black. Like, what the fuck is the police? What is the justice system doing if 5,000 innocent people in jail right now? Like, that makes you think, like, goddamn, when you look at a, a, the big picture and you look like, damn, how many innocent people in jail right now? Well, one is too many to me. Let's go back and hear that shit again. Estimate up to 5,000 Florida prison inmates may also be wrongly convicted. We are reviewing hundreds of cases in our office uh, to, to find the next Sydney Holmes and have cases in Broward County that are on deck. And, uh, and so we're going to continue plugging away. So, so I asked him time and time again, what do you want folks to know? And he says to never give up hope. So like you said, Lauren, first order of business, he says the first thing he wants to do is go to Olive Garden. He says he's never been there before. But on top of that, he says after all of this, he wants to spend the rest of his life doing something very special. We'll have that for you coming up at 11. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Gabrielle Arzola. Well, I'll say it again. I can make this a series of multiple, multiple wrongful convictions overturned and nine times out of ten i'm gonna say it's about 80 percent rate it's a black man that probably been sitting his ass in jail for two three four decades in the world believing that majority of all black men just the scum of the earth 
<sighs> I go on and on and on and on and on about context. Even the ones who in jail, who did the shit, context. Don't get me wrong. I'm not no bleeding heart and think people don't deserve punishment. I'm a dude who, who believes you should accept your punishment. Whatever it is. It is. But, like, I want the person who did it to go to jail. Do you feel me? I don't want no innocent person or no person you think deserves to go to jail to go to jail just so you can feel better. No. What would make me feel better if an innocent person was left alone and the guilty party was put on trial. Do your fucking job. That's all I want. Don't look at the first black person be like, nigga gotta be guilty. Case closed. Let's go to the next one. These niggas love killing each other anyway. Hit that like and subscribe and come part of the kingdom. What about Chicago? Still, don't put a nigga in innocent black man in jail. Just because of Chicago, you go arrest the ones who commit the crime.